and all of a sudden now, <laughs> you in a wheelchair. <laughs> hey, that's the law. The law will give you that. No deal if you take the away. Exactly. So, you know, so, I saw an accident yesterday, so lucky. Um, yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, um, just in the week I saw an accident, a uh, bike, one of them fast bikes just turned the corner and just, how do you say, crash, mash, mash. Yep. And I saw the, I saw everything. I looked around, it was just me. Mm. But I remember actually, I, I, I said to myself, why? Well, I, I kind of felt bad. It was, a, mm. you look like it was an Edema. But I mm. felt like bad. I, I had to say, uh, when I walked past, he was embarrassed. Mm. He got up, he was all right, you know, shook himself off. But I actually said, boy, imagine if when I see some, when death starts to happen and I, the way I felt, yeah. you know what I mean? And I looked at him and I said, you're right? He said, yeah, I'm all right, you know. But I felt something even seeing that happen. Mm, yeah. And it wasn't no death or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it just goes to show you, man, that, that the most high, he, he has control of any, everything. So you may be in this position where, yeah, I'm, I'm bad and, I'm, and I got it all going on. You ain't got shit going on, man. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, even when you look at all of these athletes, these older athletes that was big during their time, man, they're all, they're all messed up now. You know what I'm saying? Like even Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, he done lost his mind, man. He been lost his mind though when, when he was even boxing though. But Mike Tyson, man, he ain't really got it going up like yeah. that, man. Okay, and um, and um, there's just so many guys, man, that was once these um, high level professionals of, 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 their, of their sport. Or even Michael Schumacher. Michael Schumacher, <laughs> he was he was a top tier Formula One race car driver at the time, man. From the what the early nineties, yeah. all the way up to like what the two thousands. Even up to recently, he was you know he was doing really good. Now look at him. He's in a coma now, man. Laid laid out in the damn hospital. You know I tried to do some research on him, bro. I couldn't find shit about him, man. Yeah, yeah. And this dude was this dude was winning all kind of races, left, right, hand, and center. This was the he was a top tier race car driver in this time. Okay, now look at him, laid out in a coma. Yeah, you know what? No word of a lie. I checked my emails this week, and it had you know on the front cover they might have music. Like, on. Yeah, it's talked about Michael Schumacher. What, what was it? <laughs> I didn't read it fully. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't read it fully. But he's been in that car for three years now. Yeah, it's been a long time, yeah. He ain't coming out of there because he was skiing and um, he broke his neck again. And one thing about the neck, man, because there's, there's a lot of... Um, yeah. Yeah. Nerve, I think nerves, that's yeah, no, yeah. The nerves are at. Yeah, yeah. So once you break that, through, finish. I think he was living that highlight. Though. Yeah, he was, he was, yeah. The highlight, man. So yeah. he had it yeah. good And like the same goes, every dog has its day, don't it? Oh. Jeremiah 50 and 31 it says behold I'm um, against thee O thou most proud yeah. saith the Lord power of hosts yeah. for thy day is come the time that I will visit thee right yeah the day is coming man and we're in the day really technically we're in that day right now it just hasn't been it just, just hasn't been made manifest yet but we're in that day where Esau is starting to really feel them curses now. Yeah. And they're and they also starting to see their downfall. Okay, that's why he's eating much, they're bugging out. They're much more divided than ever before now. Okay, you got the well, you, you got the far right against the liberals, this party against that party. And then you got Trump talking about how, you know, we live in the most divided this time ever before. So on a whole man, this whole this whole entire kingdom is, is being is being shooken up. Okay. I mean, Esau once upon a time had the juice. Okay, had the had the uh, what is it? The, 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 the ability to, to to pretty much hold things down. Now look at it, falling apart. Okay. So just because you on this super duper great level, man, what happens? You tend to get overconfident, and you believe, yeah, I'm the best, and I'll always be the best. No. Go on. Bro. Says um, verse 32. It says. And the most proud shall stumble and fall. Right, Ooh. the most proud Ooh. shall stumble and fall, man. And that's what we're going to start seeing right about now. Ooh. I mean, look at the state of America, man. What, a, what an utter disgrace. Even just by Trump being in, in um, office shows a disgrace for America. This, this um, Roman system. It's a disgrace. I and mean, then you got um, Theresa May 
jumping on um, what is it, man, on the show, and she's dancing and yeah. dancing in, in the middle of Africa. That's some fucking embarrassment, man. Yeah, man. That's a goddamn embarrassment. She's in Africa doing, doing, trying to do the robot, and then you got Trump over there just not using his damn brain, and he's representing for Esau, man. And Esau put putting their trust on him to bring America back, make America great again. That crack ain't gonna make America great again. He's gonna make a, he's gonna get America destroyed, man. Yeah. Go on, bro. It says, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none mm -hmm. shall raise him up. Right, and none shall raise him up. And you can look at Trump, man. Pride, I mean. Yeah, man. You put if you put the, the um what is it the, uh, the term pride, put Trump's face right next to that word pride, man. I mean, he's the epitome of pride, man. So. The thing with Trump and, and all of these proud nations, they're gonna receive the damnation of their life. It tells you that in the um, in the, in the Apocrypha. It says the most proud of city shall be the most desolate. So England is gonna be highly desolate. Um, also along with America. You got those immigrants, they trying to go into America. I'm telling you, man. Honduras, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, when, when these cities go to hell, them immigrants, they're gonna be looking to go right back to where they came from. Trust me. This is gonna get crazy out here. Go on, bro. It says, and I will kindle a fire in his cities, mm. and it shall devour all all round about him. Yeah, and it shall devour all around about him. It says, no. thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Right. And all that took them captives, held them fast, they refused to let them go. And you know why they, they held us fast and refused to let us go? Because we, we, keep, we keep the society going. So just imagine if there was no so-called Mexicans in America or Latinos or, or Negroes. America would go down in no time. Because they need us, man. Esau made it seem like we needed them, but really they need us more than ever before. Because it was through us how they became prosperous. How Britain became what it became, how America became what it became, was through us. So if we're able to make a society so prosperous, then they need they need these people. <laughs> yeah, I say something. Yeah, go on, bro. That's what you said. Um, the fact that we don't have anything in this society, mm. that we end up putting all the money that we spend yeah. back into their into their pockets. Mm. That's why they yeah. still need us, and that's yeah. how we're still still practicing. Come on, come on, come on. Because Esau needs us to stay. Esau needs to have, have us um, think that we're nothing. Because if we think that we're nothing, then guess what? We're going to keep working for this devil, man. The Jake spend the most money, man. Yeah. Oh, man, the, the, the power of, um, what is it? Jake's buying power is just is, is out of his world. It's billions. Yeah. So that's what keeps this, that's what keeps Esau afloat. The money, the man. The, 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 uh, what is it? Um, our buying power. Yeah, we love to spend that. And, 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 and it's never on anything that is... Um, the structure are going to last, man. It's, yep. just, it's just um, material things. So you're always going to be buying new trainers, yep. you know, new garms, um, cars. Yep. cars. Yep. Yeah. We, we no, basically I mean, put, yeah, we put the money back into the pockets, yeah. which are the biggest consumers. And the money is only... And the other heathens as well. Yeah. 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 It's not just him. Them, them goops. Yeah, them goops, goops they spent too. They're all our money. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. the States. Yeah. 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 In order for to keep shit running, the money has to circulate. <laughs> Products need to be bought. So shit needs to get sold. People need to buy it in order to keep the, the blood, the, like the blood circulation of society flowing. Yeah. And who's that money? There needs to be consumers. People need to consume. And the biggest consumers is us. Esau never worked. He, he, he didn't do shit to make this place great or a miracle. It was us that made it yeah. where it is. So Esau can never say that he doesn't need us because he always needed us. He had always needed us throughout the existence of his, his legacy. All right? You know, the fact that we don't, we only plow the money in, it's, it's more or less a human say that we're like pure profits. Absolutely. Obviously nothing's coming back to us. So yeah, it's what, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, we're an asset to Esau. We're a great asset to Esau. I mean, so because we, we work the hardest and we spend, we spend the hardest. Mm -hmm. so, you, so if you got people like that on your system, you need to, you need to keep that going, man. And Esau's about profit and money. So mm -hmm. you think Esau's going to just let that go? Hell no, man. That's why it says they held fast. Yeah. That's another reason why they held us, 
eldest in that predicament. You know how they do that? They do that by keeping us dependent on them. By taking control of all the resources and everything. They gotta deceive, they gotta make the, the elephant, the ant needs to make the elephant think that the elephant needs the ant. Yeah, but that's Esau, man. That's, Esau. How he, that's how he does it. That's how he get down. It says that, what is it? Let me read that in Revelation, the 12th chapter. Because it says that he's, what is it? The great Satan? The great deceiver? That's what he is. That's what he's supposed to do. You know what I mean? And like I said, Esau is about profit. Esau don't care about being, uh, Esau don't care about loving people or showing some kind of sympathy or empathy. Esau don't give a fuck about that. Esau is trying to cake in the dough, man. So he can look better. That's what it's all about. And Esau is doing a damn good job because the Lord made him to do that, all right? And just by him doing that, he's going to destroy himself and the Lord is going to make an example out of him. Go on, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, Revelation chapter 12, yes. verse nine. And the great dragon was right. cast out. Right, that great serpent was cast out because Esau is wise like that. Okay, that's why he's also known as the dragon. Because if you have a dragon like what is it, uh, 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 mindset, you're gonna you're gonna use the sermon. Mm. You're gonna you're gonna know how to psychologically trick people into doing what you want to do. That's just how he gets down, and he's a he's a master at that. But the scripture says that the Lord will use the wise in his own craftiness. Mm. See that? So it's all through the spirit of the Lord, man. You know what I mean? Go on. That old serpent called the devil and Satan. Right, that old serpent called the devil, which the word devil is from the Greek diabolos, which means the deceiver, man. So he's supposed to deceive your ass to believe that you ain't whatever he wants you to believe. That's in his nature, that's Esau's uh, power. Not only is his power the weapon, okay, the destructive weapons that he's got, but also deception. Mm. So if Esau ain't doing these things, then something's wrong. Right? Mm -hmm. Something's absolutely wrong. That means that we ain't getting out of here, man. If one mm -hmm. prophecy is off, if one prophecy is off, then that means that the whole thing might as well just put the book away. Okay, so Esau is doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing. And, and he's doing a damn good job of this. Called the devil and Satan, right? Called the devil and Satan, gone. Which deceiver mm -hmm. the whole world. Which deceive the whole world. Because not only has he deceived Jake, but the whole the whole wide world is deceived by him, man. That's why those East Indians over there, they're bleaching their skin, trying to whiten their skin. Why? Because he's deceived them to believe that he's the epitome of perfection. Yeah. Okay, and that's why a lot, you know, a lot of them West African brothers, man, a lot of them just have this, this mentality of bigging up Esau, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got their heads up Esau's behind, man. You know, even the brothers in America, too, they got that kind of mentality, man. <clears throat> the so-called white man, he's the end or be all. You know, he's the, he's the guy. No, he ain't the guy. Mm -hmm. All right, he's just in that position to play out prophecy right. and to show us what wickedness is all about. That's all it is, okay? It's just that you've been conditioned to believe that he's a somebody. And what it is, is pick that up, bro. That, that, um, that, that sign over there. It's really, it all goes back to this right here. This is why the majority of our people and people around the world, they think that the so-called white man is the most high. They think that he's the power on the earth. But really, when you read the Bible, the Bible tells you otherwise that the soul, that um, the world called Jesus Christ is a soul called nigga. Okay, but they deceived our people to believe that they're the most high, which that's in the prophecy too. Okay? All the so-called white men is a joke, man. That's all he is. And he showed himself to be a joke. And he's really no one to really fear. Mm. He's really no one to fear, man. How you gonna fear nobody? Just because he's in power, that don't mean that he's a somebody. Go on, bro. Oh, yeah, I got a preset quick. Like, about the image, innit? Yeah. First Maccabees chapter three, verse 48. Yeah. It's about the Greeks. Uh -huh. And they laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen right. had sought to paint the likenesses of their image. Exactly, and that's, what, that's exactly what they did during the Renaissance era. All right, bro. You have a website. I used to see our cut from. You know, and that's yeah, why yeah, during, yeah. The, during the yeah, Renaissance era. You have a website. So. Um, website is on Great Moonstone. Right. During, the, during the Renaissance era, what they did was, is, that's exactly, as the brother just read the prophecy, what they did was, is they went down. Go to YouTube. 
in the yeah, midst of to Europe to break uh, pretty much stone. do away with the, the dog art. Yeah. That's why you have the term iconoclasm, yeah. which the word icon means image. Sure like and classic means broken, broken yeah. or to break. Yeah. Yeah. So they went around Europe breaking all of the icons by painting them as their images. Okay, we painting the images of them being the prophets. Okay? And that's what they did. So now everybody's opening up the I don't put you, brother. So now everybody's opening up the Bible, thinking that the Bible is the so-called white man's book. But it ain't got nothing to do with the so-called white man. When you read the Bible, it condemns the so-called white man. But they had the world believe and think that he's the most high. Okay? And you and also as well, you, you got even even in the Quran too, a lot of a lot of guys believe that the Arabs are the people of the most high. You know, and that could be further from the truth. There you go, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show that on the camera. And they couldn't get all the dark art. Exactly. They, they it's, just... it's too much art, man. It's too many art. So they couldn't have painted all of them. So they, they can't get rid of all the history, you know what I mean? Look at it, look at it. Look at it. Afro, Afro, straight Afro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Afro. Dark skin. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah, but Esau, right. Esau did a damn good job. 